Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeklem Development and welcome back to part 3 of our map view application series. Uh, the previous episodes we implemented our map view and our segment control to display different map types. Uh, the last episode we um, worked on the location, we got our current location which because um, it's similar to in California and we got when we built the application to load a fixed position on the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, this episode we're adding a uh, kind of map um, pin onto uh, our location of Brooklyn Bridge. So simply how we do that, we need to go to add a new file, as we're going to need to add a uh, NS object. So we just simply type in NS object. There we go, and I'll simply name this uh, map map pin. Nice and easy to understand. So we add that into our project right now. Just drag that under our view controllers. And in the .h of our map pin um, class here, we need to import our map kit foundation. And after the object here, we need to do space and we do a kind of less than symbol and do map kit annotation and then the more than symbol there. And then we do space bracket and enter. Uh, once you've done that, we need to do C. Um, CLL location coordinates uh, 2D, there we go and we just simply name it uh, coordinate so that's easy to understand there uh, we need to create two NS strings for the title and subtitle which will be displayed in our map pin so we do NS string space asterisk name it title there we go and a string asterisk subtitle. So really easy to understand there. There we go. And then now we need to kind of add the uh, property and uh, nomatomic and assign and copy to our three kind of um, objects we added there. So we do at property bracket nomatomic comma assign. Now this is going to be for our kind of uh, see our location coordinate one here so you just can copy paste there nice and simple and we do at property space bracket nonatomic comma copy uh, bracket and this one is for our NS string title there we go and if I just copy that now and paste it and just change the uh, string there to subtitle to save us a little bit of time there. And now, if we go into our map pin dot in, and now we need to synthesize our uh, three objects we added. So we got coordinate, and then we do comma title, comma subtitle. Uh, end that with a semicolon. And then once you've done that, it's kind of set up. We've basically kind of set up the whole map pin, um, pin classes there. So we can jump back into our view controller dot m, where we need to import our map pin classes. So we need to tell our view controller that the that you know the map pin classes exist, and we're going to use the them to uh, display the map pin. So after we got our kind of um, code there to span to see, you know to zoom in on a set region we underneath it we're going to add in the code now for our map pin so we do map pin uh, asterisk and for you know short for annotation equals bracket bracket map pin space alloc and after the bracket there we do init uh, and that with a semicolon after the bracket then we do and dot title space equals space at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and have a semicolon in between the code in between the two quotation marks we're going to be adding the uh, the title of what we want to display now we just copy and paste that and just change that to subtitle and then we do and dot coordinate uh, equals space equals region dot center so the center of our region that we got spanned in is where we're going to drop the uh, map pin uh, and that way semicolon and then we do bracket mapper view space add annotation and then the highlight section we do and there we go so that will simply drop our annotation now in the uh, two strings here for our title I'm going to simply put in Brooklyn 
uh, bridge. And then in the subtitle here, I'm going to simply put New York. So, yeah, when we come to display it now, so if you go to Build and Run, well, when we get loads up now, so it's loading up our set location, we've got our map pin dropped here. So, as we click onto it, you can see our title and our subtitle underneath. So, Brooklyn Bridge and New York as our subtitle. So, yeah, that's simply how you can add um, map pins into a map uh, view application. Uh, kind of uh, how we sensed it on the map, it dis um, decides on where it displays. So I hope you found this helpful, and uh, yeah, next episode we're going to be getting directions from our location or any location you want you you know you kind of set to uh, to the Brooklyn Bridge. So like kind of like a um, like a kind of like a sat nav and get directions and you know find the quickest way to get from route to route. So we'll be implementing that in our next episode. So yeah, I hope you found this helpful so far. Uh, if you haven't, make sure you um, subscribe. If you want to suggest any tutorials you want to do in the future, leave us a comment or send us a message. Uh, check out all the apps on the App Store by simply searching Geek Lemon and make sure you follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got a little pinky. I got a little... No, it's not my pinky. I got a little finger.